Hi, my name is Courtney King, and I am 19 years old. <clears throat> all my life, all I ever wanted to do was make a difference and help people and let people know that they're not alone. I am a child of divorced parents. Uh, I was a child that got bullied all throughout elementary and middle school. I'm a person. All of my insecurities and flaws and problems don't make me any less of that. Right now I am going to college and majoring in education because I'm going to try and be a teacher. That's not one of my biggest dreams, or it's not really even a dream of mine. My dream is to be a motivational speaker. So in this video, along with every other video that I intend on posting, one every week, I'm going to be somehow encouraging you, or motivating you, or picking you back up from just a terrible week, or a terrible day. I want to pick you back up from the people that pushed you down and made you feel less of a person. But right now, what I want to talk about <clears throat> is you learning to accept yourself. And I got this topic from a friend of mine back home who is a beautiful young lady who doesn't realize all of her potential just yet, but she will. She's growing up. She was the first person I asked on what to talk about for my first video. <clears throat> so, what do you think makes a perfect person? You think it's having the, the longest hair or the most flawless skin or being the most tiniest size, wearing the smallest size of jeans, being 5'10 what do you think makes you the perfect person because it's none of those things you could be absolutely gorgeous on the outside and just be disgusting on the inside that doesn't make you perfect I've seen some of the prettiest people have such an ugly personality we have to take everything about ourselves, the ugliest parts of ourselves, the most beautiful parts of ourselves, the scariest parts of ourselves, and we have to accept them. We have to let them in because if we try and hide from them and push them away, that's not realistic. That doesn't make you perfect. It doesn't make you like everybody else because who wants to be like everybody else? You are the only person that can be you. You can be the perfect you. So why be someone else when no one else can be you? You have to look in the mirror and tell yourself, no, I'm not perfect in any way because nothing is. No one is. That girl or that guy that you look at and you're just completely envious of because they have the best hair or they have the most friends, do you know their home? Do you know their life at home? Do you know what their personality is like? Do you know how they feel on the inside? If they're as secure on the inside as they look on the outside? We all have to learn and realize that all these material and obsessions that we have with being a certain way isn't realistic and it doesn't make you perfect. What makes you perfect is when you don't try to be. Don't ever force yourself to be something that you don't want to be or that doesn't feel right to you. Don't put yourself in a group of people that only put you down and then wonder why you feel so crappy all the time. The reason why you feel so bad or you feel depressed or you think that you're not good enough 
and that you just can't accept yourself is because you're not letting yourself. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to be the skinniest person in the school. You don't have to have the longest hair. You don't have to dye your hair a certain way. You don't have to be anything but yourself. Be happy with who you are. Because nobody else can be that. They can try, but they'll fail. <clears throat> you don't have to be the top in your class. You don't have to be the smartest. It doesn't make you dumb. It doesn't make them better than you. No one is better than you. Everyone is equal. Whether people want to see that or not. Everyone has things about them that stand out. And that make them who they are. But it doesn't make anybody better than anybody. You have to learn the difference between the things that you need to change and the things that you just want to change, but really you should just accept about yourself. If you want to lose that 10 pounds or that 50 pounds, do it for yourself. Don't you dare do it for anybody else. You do it because you want to be healthy and because it's what you want to do. If you want to cut your hair, you do it for yourself. Not because somebody else told you that that's what's appropriate or that's what's cool or that's what makes you better. If you want to dress a different way, if you want to dress in all black or wear band t-shirts or go to concerts and wear whatever kind of facial makeup you want to do, you do that. Don't you dare let somebody tell you that that's not okay and that's not socially acceptable. Because as long as you're happy, then the people that truly matter in your life will be happy for you. The things that you might need to change, for one, is not believing in yourself. I always told myself that who's going to want to listen to me? I'm one person. What could I possibly change about the world? But then I had to stop and think to myself, why would anyone want to listen to me when all I'm doing is putting myself down? When my goal is to put everyone else up? Why would anyone want to listen to me? Why would anyone take me seriously if I don't even take myself seriously and I don't believe in myself? You have to learn to accept who you are, what you are, and what you're going to become in life. Everything that you do, everything that you have done, is little bits and pieces of what you're going to be in the future. So you go out and you be in the band. Or you go out and you play sports. Or you go out and you wear whatever you want to. Be whoever you want to. Because that's your choice. And no one can take that away from you. If you're sitting at home or wherever you are right now and you feel like every opportunity of you being different has been taken away from you because of what other people have told you or how people have made fun of you or bullied you, that's stupid. Yes, if you choose to be different, you're going to have to put up with the bullying. You're going to have to put up with the constant name calling and being picked at. But as long as you're happy and you're content with yourself, then who cares what everyone else thinks? You're not going to have to be around these people all of your life. You don't have to. And if it's your family, just because they're your family doesn't mean you have to put up with them all the time. You make it out of school. You make it out of college. And you go live your own life and you do whatever you want to do. Yes, they're your family, and family is an important thing, but when family starts to tell you that you can't be something or you can't make anything out of yourself, that's when you need to stop listening to them. The thing that keeps people from doing what they want to do and being who they want to be isn't the people around them. It isn't their influences around them. It's themselves. It's who you are. It's your decision. You're the one that's keeping you from being what you want to be and being who you are. You're the one that's keeping you 
from letting go of your insecurities. You have to let yourself reach every potential that's possible. You have to accept yourself. You have to love yourself. If, you, if you're not in a relationship right now, and that's all you really want. If you're just a hopeless romantic and you just can't wait to get in a relationship or you just can't wait to get married or you just can't wait to find that one person that makes you feel complete. How do you expect someone to fully love you if you don't fully love yourself? I'm not saying that you can't be insecure sometimes because we're human. We're all going to be insecure about something every now and then. But if all you do is talk down to yourself and tell yourself that you can't do something, and if you don't even believe in yourself, why should anybody else? As long as you wake up every morning and tell yourself that you can do it, that you believe in yourself, that's all that matters. We need to look inside of ourselves and love ourselves. Accept who we are. Learn the difference between the things that we need to change and the things that we just want to change. Needing and wanting something are two different things. You don't have to change how you look for anyone. You don't have to hang out with certain people. You don't have to have a certain personality. You don't need any of those things. All you need is to accept yourself and to be who you want to be and love yourself. If anyone has ever told you or made you feel like who you are isn't right or isn't what's acceptable or isn't what's normal, then all they're doing is defending who they are because they feel threatened that you're different and that you're not the same as them. That doesn't make them a terrible person. It just means that they don't understand. They don't understand what, what you're trying to accomplish, who you're trying to be. But that doesn't mean that you should stop. Always be who you want to be. No matter if no one understands it, if you do, then you go ahead and you be whoever you want to be. If you want to wear Snuggies out in public, you go wear Snuggies out in public, do your thing. You do whatever you want to. Seriously. Don't let people tell you you can't do something. Don't let people tell you you can't be someone or you can't reach any goal that you want to. Anything's possible. Now that doesn't mean set crazy, irrealist, unrealistic goals for yourself. Like, I want to lose 50 pounds in three days. But, you can do anything. And you're a beautiful person inside and out, no matter what anyone else tells you. Learn the difference between what you need to change and what you want to change. And learn to love yourself. You will never truly be alone if you love yourself. I promise.